Good day everyone, this is Brian James L. Pernandico and for today, I will discuss the nature of infection and first aid treatment. First, let us discuss the nature of infection. Germs enter into body at the wound and thrive. No matter how slight the wound or how the free from previous infection the patient has been, there is definite danger in every wound. Other than that, if we're trying to ignore the infection, there is possibility that we can get an infectious diseases, which is disorders caused by organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. Many organisms live in and on our bodies. They are normally harmless or even helpful. But under certain conditions, some organisms may cause disease. That is why we need to be extra careful and be alert if we have wound in our body. Next is first aid treatment. When bleeding is not severe, we need to use emergency first aid. All we have to do is first apply a sterile dressing and bandage in such a way that the dressing does not slip about. Second, send patient to a physician. Next is home care. Stressed here is that the responsibility rests on any person giving home care for minor wounds unless the patient is referred to a physician. Consult a family physician for advice concerning home treatment for minor wounds. He may recommend the following. First, washing the wound with soap and water or possible use antiseptic. Second, applying mild tincture of iodine which is 3%. As but not the least, applying dressing and bandage. Next is some don'ts. First, don't touch the wound with the hand or sterile material. Second, don't wash the wound with soap and water. Third, don't use absorbent cotton as dressing. Last but not the least, don't introduce further bleeding to clean the wound. Next is some do's. First, first aiders should first wash their hands thoroughly with soap and water. Second, see that the iodine dries up first before covering the wound with a dressing. Last but not the least, refer to the patient to a physician for possible tetanus danger. That's all my video discussion and I hope you learned something. Thank you!